Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to work with Ghost Recon Wildlands HQ. Ghost Recon Wildlands HQ is a mobile app which can use on both Android and iOS devices um, which can help you greatly in game. The features it has, as I will show you in a second, will be um, a map, a live map when you're playing in the game. It will be a mini game allowing you to gain resources outside of the game and you will be able to send these resources to your game. So always useful to have that. Um, and as well you can read some info on the background of Bolivia and some of the characters in there. And of course the latest Ghost Recon Wildlands news. So yeah, this is the app as I said. Let's first sync it up with our uh, Xbox. Oh, first log in of course. Use your, um, well for me the Xbox account. But if you're using PlayStation you can go for PlayStation. If you're using PC, obviously go for Steam. So yeah, what you want to do is go to settings, network settings. Because it's asking your IP address. Go to advanced settings. And right there it will give you your IP address. And here's your IP address. Let me mark it up for you guys. And here's your IP address. This is the one you want. Simply fill it in into the boxes where it says the XXXXXXX. But it will look a little bit different than the way it looks in here. Let me show you what it looks like. So once you have filled in the IP ad address, just uh, make sure your platform is uh, OK by the way. Simply press OK. Um, and here we are in game. I've gone to the map now by the way. Um, you have to wiggle around a bit so it can locate you because you can't it can't find you when you're standing still. As you can see that's right where we are. And it just goes seamlessly, it tracks my movement. As you can see I'm driving around with the bike. And you can see where I'm going. Um, this can be really really useful if you don't uh, if you've got like your uh, heads up display uh, disabled like on your TV on the settings in game and if you have like um, a relatively big phone or a tablet this can be used like your mini map and well it's a lot more useful than having to open the map in the game every second okay let's find some enemies because there's something I want to show you guys which is also very useful which the um, the game uh, at least on extreme difficulty doesn't show you where the enemies are looking Oh shit, my Jones jam. Um, but if you tag enemies with the application on, you can see in which direction they are looking, which is very, very useful. And of course, you can see the uh, positions of the enemies. So, um, wait, let me zoom in the map in game or in the app, sorry. And let me mark an enemy. As you can see, it's right there on my map. And you can see the little arrow pointing in the direction it is looking. And if you shoot him he's gone as well on the map of course really really useful so yeah this um, this map has multiple uses you can also see all the vehicles and all the ammo crates and um, if there are for, for example intel files or skill points around you can easily find them using this map so yeah really really useful in game if you ask me um, especially if you have like a tablet which is a lot bigger screen of course then it's really useful Okay, let me now show you the game, the mini game, which is this. Okay. And as you can see, you can send resources. You get these resources by playing the game. And you can send a maximum of 5,000 resources every day to your um, in game, to your game, which you need for the upgrades, of course. And this is just a little fun mini game which you can do. So that's pretty much the two most important parts. The other two I'm not going to show you because, well, it's just the CIA files or the news on uh, Ghost Recon which you can read yourself if you want. But yeah, I hope this helped you. If it did, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.